so this is today's walk going from Bradwell up over Chateau Moor to Chateau and back I'll give you a quick 3D walk through um, just make sure I've set this correctly um, half speed makes it a bit easier uh, to to play back okay so starting Bradwell we go up the hill from Edge Lane up to uh, Robin Hood uh, Stones then start to cross Chateau Moor so you get some good views back over Bradwell towards Mam Tour, etc. Here, and then we're heading up towards Wolf's Pit. I'll try and find out a bit about what that is all about, whether there's any history to it. Then I come across the bottom of Abney Moor. Get some cracking views there across towards Abney Low and Hucklow Distance. You might well see some gliders, etc. Then we take a left, head over Offerton Moor. I haven't stopped for lunch just here, uh, but then you descend from Offerton Moor down to. Often House Farm and the start of the old hall. Then we follow the old cart track, by an old road at one time, <coughs> along towards the village of Shatton. Again, some good views over towards the Great Ridge and uh, Lady Bower, Hafferside, the Hope Valley. So I put some pictures up in the uh, in the video. Then a quick tour round the village. Here you can take a bit of a detour. Um, I just went to the Ford, but you can walk around the whole village, which is quite nice. So uh, I highly recommend that. Um, the Ford is here, just under this road. Back up the road you came up. About three quarters, you take a detour to the right up a footpath. Very steep here. Um, some about 700 foot of ascent there, and very quickly. Then past the mast where you get some good views. Heading back the way we came. So skirting around that edge of the moor, the north side of it, uh, to Wolf's Pit. Then we take a right turn here and go across the top of Overdale. That looks quite a stunning place. <coughs> and again, get some cracking views. We come on to Bruff. Here there's a shortcut, so rather than taking that route, there is a short footpath across. Takes you back down to Bradwell, uh, the same way that we came up. So it sort of meets that path up from Robin, Robin Hood Stones. Uh, so and all in all, a nice walk, about nine miles. If you did a full extent, there's about eight. If you mix that loop off uh, over here, this loop here, there's a shortcut just across there that you can take. There's a not on the map, interestingly enough. I did about three and a half hours, but you're talking eight, nine miles, probably four hours, and a, a good 1600 and some 234 foot of ascent. So, a couple of steep climbs at the start and finish. Both than that, quite an enjoyable walk. Mm, so, here we are in Breville. Quite a nice scene behind me, as you can see. Back in the middle by the mill stream. So we're going to head up now to Bradwell Edge. Here you can see the stream as it goes through the centre of the village. We're just going to head up over there to Robin Hood Stones. And uh, yeah, around the edges as per the uh, route I described before. A bit icy today, about one degree I think it is. To be a bit cooler on top, but we'll see when we get walking. There's Bradwell Church and there's a shed loads of jackdaws. So we're going to skirt through the village here up onto the edge in the distance. Got my camera with me today, so I'll take some pictures as well. Some quaint little steps here. Quite, um, quite difficult to park around here. There's no central car park. I parked on the other side of the main road. Seems a bit easier. <laughs> but uh, hey ho. So here we are, Edge Lane. That takes us up all the way to the top. I came up here in a car earlier, trying to find somewhere to pop up. A bit arsey in places. It's a bit interesting to see what it's like up on the top. But I've got me a micro spikes. Shouldn't need them looking at it. But always best to be prepared. So I'll catch up when we get onto the uh, onto the footpath. And there we are. This is the road that was a bit arsey earlier. Even the fall before. <laughs> so heading up to the edges in the distance there. Uh, not far off, getting to the footpath now. Quick look over Bradwell. Cement works there in the distance. 
which we uh, walked through last week. So that was quite a cool walk actually. Should be some interesting stuff on today's walk as well. You know, we've got stuff like tumuli up there, uh, sort of an old hall going to Shatton village, which is really, really nice. And then uh, back up to uh, the big mast and then back down through Robin Hood stones. So all should be good. Right, here we are, Bradwell. Up over the top where we went last week. I'm torn the distance, as well as Kinder Scout, coming across the Gate Ridge, cement works there, Loose Hill, and then coming round to Wind Hill, which you can't really get that good a view of at the moment. I think it's just behind there. Very icy. Thought about putting my uh, spikes on, but uh, I think we'll get away with it today. I'll see you at the top. Uh, that was a bit of a climb. You can see uh, Wind Hill there, all across the Great Bridge, the cement works, over to Mamtor, back over Bradwell Moor, which is where we went last week. Repeating myself a bit there, but yeah, excellent. Bit of sun too. I don't know if you can see that, the glider over the hill there. Blue come out from Hocklow. So here we are heading over the moor. That's where we're going to be coming back later, over by the mast. We're going to go around this edge of the moor, drop down into Shatton. Cracking day. No wind, which is good. So they don't really need the whole shell jacket on. A layer, t shirt, and this fleece made by. Mountain hard gear, very good fleece. Don't need much more when it's on sometimes. Anyway, I'll let you know when we go over to the far edge. We should get some cracking views from there with a bit of luck. So my four before is coming up here. A bit of an old track or something. Test drive for Some old and new land, isn't it? I'm going to crack on over here, around the edge, over to Shan. Quite warm actually, probably about 0 degrees or something like that, nothing too bad. As you can see these bloody roads are icy. And over there is Abney Moor, which is where we're heading. And then we're going to cut across Offerton Moor over that hill. So, just coming off Shatton Moor now. I'm going to head over that way. Mainly a track at the moment, probably for farmers or grouse shooting or something. So I've heard a few up here. And then, uh, yeah, head down towards Shatton, which is a good little village with a nice name. Almost as good as uh, Twat on Shetland. Okay, anyway. Also trying out the new Wind Slayer. However, not much wind about. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. If it's any better. Seen it. It's looking over towards the uh, Abney low in there, there to the right. You can see that. Like the last video low is a uh, rounded hill. Um, that type of thing, a rounded hill in Saxon. And over to a mast over there on the horizon. And then we're going back up here along to Abney Moor. Okay, heading up now towards Abney Moor. A place called Wolf's Pit. Interesting name. I'll see what I can do to find out a bit about that and add it onto the video at this point. So a bit of a climb up there, onto the edge of Abney Moor, around there, 
then over Offerton Moor down to the side of a Offerton Hall then down to Shatton a lot of history around here Neolithic tumuli and things like that I thought to bring a metal detector up here I tell you anyway I'll catch up with you when we get up onto Abney Moor she'll get some good views up there hopefully the ice has melted here now we dropped a little bit so uh, I'll catch up with you when we get up there slight change I thought I was going up there but not we're screwing around the bottom here on, on the bottom of Abney Moor I'm going to climb up over to the left in a bit looking over towards Abney, Abney Low some in the distance there if you can see them on the ready horizon there's some paragliders blew out from Hucklow and that and then we're gonna head around here to put some cairns and off to the left a few birds of prey scattered about but you won't really see them on here not sure what they were kestrels I think potentially a couple of other things anyway I'll catch up with you in a bit another one for the uh, useless style competition <laughs> Why do you bother? I guess there was something there before. We've just come down there. There's a few people about, but not too many. All more like uh, places like Mamtor and the Great Ridge. I will do them at some point. I just don't know when. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when we get up to a bit more height and get some better views. Okie dokie. I'm uh, not feeling too bad today. I bought my lunch with me cheese sandwich sometimes you just don't need anything else but bread butter and cheese um, worth a book worth reading about walking uh, George Borrow the guy who walked through Wales back in Victorian times really interesting big guy I mean apparently his average walking speed was about four miles an hour which is for a lot of people is uh, more like running but he lived on bread and cheese and a few pints of ale which doesn't sound a bad maximum in life anyway I'll catch up with you in a bit. Here we are. Let's walk around the bottom of Abney Moor now. There's an old grouse butt there. And the gamekeeper's tracks and whatever. That there, that sort of rounded hill is Abney Low. I'll find out a bit about that if I can. Right in the very far distance you can see the, the edges. You know, Kerbal, Froggart, all of that lot quite a misty hazy day we've just come down from that hill there so we'll crack on round here and I think we'll start to climb a bit then and then should get some better views hopefully a bit hazy in the distance but you know that's the way it is bit of a breeze now but uh, not enough to have to put the hard shell jacket on some bird of prey over there I don't think you can see that I'll try and get a picture actually with my camera the way it's hovering I'm expecting it's probably a kestrel or something I'll see what I can do. Well, we're following this track here for now, and then we're going to head off over to the left. Okay, so we're now off up behind me here, over to Overton, Overton Hall. Um, just turn left off the path around the bottom of Abney Moor. That goes to the old um, Overton Hall site. Uh, just missed. I just put a picture up in a bit uh, earlier of a, a bird of prey. And just as it came down, it looked like it got something. A whole flock of lap wings came up, but by the time I got my camera and my GoPro out and panicked about which one to use, damn thing had gone. They all flew off down there, but that was quite cool. Uh, saw a flock of geese earlier um, moving about, but uh, yeah. So we're going to head off over here now, behind me up this path, and then I'll uh, probably have some lunch when I get over there. So, right, so we're on the moors, off to moor. The distance there, the horizon a bit of murk, you can see the edges going all the way across there. I'll do some walks on there, just go off to try and find out where there's a few good places like the edges, B29 wreck. But uh, since the pandemic, and it's not a bad thing, they've got so popular now. Um, I tend to go up in January, February if it's blown a hoolie, as I say in Scotland. The weather's not too good, although <laughs> we went up uh, a couple of years ago, me and the missus went up in February. Um, it was quite bleak, hail storms coming in, uh, low cloud at times, and uh, people up there in fucking flip-flops and uh, Google Maps asking where to get, how to get to the wreck. In shorts as well he was, and like a flimsy top, unbelievable mate. 
Um, I've seen a few up there, I've had to be rescued quite regularly. So, so bad now, I've actually put signs up so people can follow them. I mean, it's not difficult to learn how to read a map, get a decent app on your phone, like I use Outdoor Active Pro, uh, it's about 20 quid a year, 23 quid a year, all the OS maps on it. Mint, uh, you can download the maps to your phones or you need a GPS signal so you don't need a mobile phone signal. I've never yet lost GPS signal with it. I used to have it when it was the old View Ranger. So uh, yeah, no reason why you can't go out in any weather. I think it was Billy Connolly or somebody said there's no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing. And uh, it sometimes it's far more interesting than a nice bright perfect day with hordes of people about. Anyway, rant over. I'm going to crack on over here, might have some lunch when we get to the edge of the moor over there. Not quite night, nice views there, with a cup of coffee down me. Just hope it doesn't induce me to want to go for a shit. Don't know about you, but uh, that's alright then. Cup of coffee mate, straight on the bog. So uh, that's why I have one first thing in the morning. Um, and my beard, I don't know. It's like when you ride a bike, condensation I think it is from your breath. You can wring about a pint of water out of it, I think. Anyway, that's that. We'll see you shortly. Nice little uh, brook, or whatever you call them around these parts. I've heard them called cloughs, but look how clear that water is. Absolutely. You could probably drink that with a bit of filtering. Look how pure that is. Crystal clear. And that's probably got a few feet deep there. Cool. Anyway. We're following the track over there, off to Ofton Hall. So, here we are. Stunning views here. As you can see in the distance here, you've got all the various edges, Kerbal, Froggart, Stanage, right in the distance. You can see Lady Bower, Stanage and all that lot. And Lady Bower Reservoir over there. It's going out towards the Dew and Tedges in the distance. I think that's Bamford Edge here. Pretty certain that's where that is. That's Haffersidge, and I think that there is Bamford. You go to Wynn Hill again, keep banging on with Wynn Hill, back end of Kinder over there. Stunning views. I'll just flip and do it again for you. The other way around with my, without my ugly mug in it. Just on a sunny day, mate, that'll be cracking. Not bad on a winter's day. I'm just going to drop down here, I think, out of the wind. The wind's coming behind from a south westerly, which I think is the prevailing winds in the UK. So I'm going to drop down here, play have a sandwich and a cup of coffee. Might have a little bit of a chat. So here we are. Nice cup of coffee, cheese butty. I'll turn this round. I'm seeing he's chomping away. Bit of a breeze coming now. So, uh, I won't stay too long, so I'll cool down quite quickly. You can see in the distance down there the river now. It's like it's flooded a little bit. Not surprised after all this rain. So, anyway, just uh, thinking. I don't know about you, but I talk to myself on these walks. I don't know if any of you are like that, but um, I sing to myself sometimes. A bit like what I do when I go fishing. A bit of like, I don't know, self therapy or what, or just keeping yourself company. But, um, unfortunately, the only song I know all the words to is the Monty Python penis song. So you get some odd looks if you're singing that as you go past someone. It's swell to have a stiffy, divine to and a dick, and all that. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop here, have some lunch, and then get moving again because. Uh, Starting to cool down quite quickly. It is probably about freezing, I think, up here with the altitude and a bit of a breeze. Could be a little bit less, so I might even put the waterproof on in a bit. I'll see how we get on. Anyway, we'll catch up with you soon, okay? Then, if you can see that, the red grouse. Right! Just flew in there. In the middle of the picture. Let's see if I can circle it for you. Obviously they're shooting more up here. Let's see if I can get some close-up pictures. Just come down the track now for more. That's Offerton House Farm. Offerton Hall was just over there where I think you can see that lake through the woods.
which I'm guessing is where the old hall is. I can't see if it's still there, we'll have a look. And then we're following that wall track over there, up and over to Shatton. Still see Lady Bower there and Bamford. And there's the nice little, I think it's a town, Hafferthage, and then obviously the edges in the distance. Crack and walk along those edges. Bamford Edge is good. On that sort of headland there, there's a really good sort of uh, it's quite a famous rock that you can go sit on. It looks like you're you know, towering over the edge sort of type of thing. But we're going to head down to the farm and head along that track. If I sit a hall, I'll uh, take some videos of it. See, right, that's a fairly substantial farmhouse. Might even be the old hall there through the trees. It looks Tudorish by the windows, I'd say. No expert. Bit of a brook here. We're heading off up over there now towards Shatton. So we might get some more views when we get over to the mast. Because we drop into Shatton. That's a quite a nice little village. I've never been there before. Drop into that and then back up to the mast. Back over to Robin Hood Stones. And then yeah, back to the car. To me. A nice little beck there. What beck what do we call them here? Cloughs, brooks, or whatever you want to call it. Sitch, I think I've seen them called around here. That seems to be a, a local thing, I think. Ah. Here's me a bit of fun. Luckily, I've got quite a good stride on me. So, we're going to head up here now. Shatton, should be interesting to see what the Ford's looking like there. There's a Ford at Shatton. <laughs> hey, have you ever go on TikTok or YouTube, look for Rufford Ford and watch people trying to drive through that. I mean, I used to do a bit of off-roading. I've got a Range Rover now, which is quite a capable off-road, although I don't really use it for that per se. But uh, some people have got no clue how to drive through deep water. But uh, it's quite hilarious, so I'll just search it, Rufford Ford. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to Hafferside and that end of the Hope Valley and the edges. And we're going to go on to Chaton. Some interesting stones in that field. I don't think it's man-made. I think it's just on the map showing us a collection of stones. I don't know if you can see them, but at first port of call, you might think they're in some sort of circle, but uh, I don't think they are. We just walk back up there. You can see back again down towards Hathersage. Just walk the path here. Bit of a hill, hence the puffing, and then head back up there. Just coming over the top of the hill, you can see where we're going to have to climb to in a bit, which is that mast up on Chaton Moor. I keep saying Chaton, but hey, that's me. Reminds me of that old joke. This isn't racist in any way, so don't complain. <laughs> Why is Lieutenant Uhura Brown? Because William Shatner. Anyway, on that note, in the distance here, you can see the steam coming from the cement works and looking down towards Lewes Hill, the Great Ridge, Wynn Hill and uh, Lady Bower Dam. So we're going to carry on down this path. I think we'll go this route. It's likely to get boggy. Not that I mind a bit of bog hopping. Years and years ago I was actually up on Kinder Scout with a good friend of mine who sadly passed away just before Christmas. No age 53. So rest in peace Paul, me and you used to have some good times up there and I went to jump a bog, landed in it, momentum of my uh, rucksack which was quite heavy just took me forward face first, face planted into the bog and they had to help me get out so uh, yeah we've all done our share of that I'm sure so yeah heading down now to Shatton you can just see Hope, I think that's Hope, yeah Hope there nestling in amongst between Lewes Hill and Wynn Hill. Um, I told you a story about that battle so I won't repeat myself. Worst thing you can do on these things. So yeah, I'm going to carry on now. But we will be coming back up to the mast there after we've been down to Shatton. So a bit of a loop just to take the village in. I could save myself a bit of time but uh, hey we've got all afternoon. It's not that late. Got a few hours before sunset so uh, We'll go down, drop into there and drop and climb back up again. I'll burn a few calories. I'm trying to get a bit fitter. After that virus of winter, 
really knocked me for six and some days I still feel like it's lingering sore throat stuff like that so next week start lifting some weights and stuff like that in between and do a bit of walking for the cardio um, that's my plan not a drink for a couple of weeks so they are fat for a little bit but not forever <laughs> anybody who knows me will know I'll never be able to give up beer but uh, it's all about moderation so yeah nice views there down the Hope Valley and I'll catch up with you shortly you wouldn't want me coming up here in your motor clearly then grit this road just goes up to the uh, tower so I don't think there'll be many people coming up here to be honest with you so I'm just going to walk on the grass a bit until I find <laughs> the bit in the middle there doesn't look too bad actually it's a bit gravelly just in case of working your way down so yeah you can see there where we're headed that's, that's Shatton Looks like it's been flooded quite a bit down there, probably the river now broke its banks or something. And then we're going to come up just the other side of the hill, up an old, an old track which I believe may even be part of the Roman road from Navio, so over at Broth, which is just along the way, the road there, not far from Bradwell, actually next village now from Bradwell. That is, uh, that's the site of the Roman fort of Navio, so quite a key place. Um, so Romans are after all the lead and stuff like that so a lot of Roman there's a lot of history in the whole of Hope Valley really going back to Neolithic times so uh, yeah, quite an interesting place from that perspective anyway we're going to walk down this hill now and then uh, I'll probably catch up with you when we get into Shatton so you said it properly there Shatton sounds like uh, what was his name oh the Keith Lemon boy or oh. Bow Selector Shut up, motherfuckers! Anyway, see you shortly. So, yeah, I think that's the forward. So, quick look at this. Quite cool. And I'm just going to the main road there. I don't think there's much here. Whoa, fucking Jesus Christ. So you have a few moments and I. So yeah. Not quite looking forward. But uh this underneath there. Quite cool. There's a forward reference. So I don't think there's much else to really see here if I'm brutally honest. So I might save myself a little bit of time and uh, have some water and uh, head back up the hill I think it was mainly the forward I wanted to see so uh, yeah a bit of water a bit of candle mint cake and then up to that mast in the distance see you in it just had some water and the best stuff ever when you're walking Kendall mint cake. If you want some energy quickly, fast, that's the stuff. Basically, pure sugar. I think there's plenty of videos out on YouTube how to make it. Quite interesting, but you know what? I always carry a bar or two of that with me. It's a very nice, quick, easy way of getting some energy into you. Sound like I'm on a bloody Penang way or something, don't I? But you know, uh, I'm still getting a bit fitter on it. Back to walking fitness. Anyway, have this, head up the hill, catch up shortly. So, here we are, come up the hill, now we're going to turn off on this track here, which will, then you can see it from here, that's going to take us up there, over to the mast, so uh, yeah, let's get going, saw a couple with a dog earlier, you know, don't bring your dogs around the countryside if you can't control them, I just heard it, having a right go or something, didn't seem to want to go and go anywhere they wanted to make it go <coughs> so just hope it wasn't worrying any sheep so anyway head off up here now rant over speak to you shortly this looks very interesting path uh, <laughs> it goes straight up there so uh yeah mm. we'll see if uh it's looking a bit dodgy 
I'll just come back onto the road that goes up, but looking at it, we're going straight up that cliff. So, let's go and see what it's like. A bit more interesting. Probably knacker me out, but to see you up there. I'll probably stop halfway up, just let you know how I'm going on. I wasn't sure <laughs> where this was going, it's not following the cliff. It's going straight up here. That's, uh, that's a hell of a climb, that. Apparently straight to the mast if you look on the map just get it up two seconds yeah if you look there sort of bit of a dog leg to the left and then straight up to there so it's gonna be a bit of a climb you can tell it by the contour lines to light this all the way up so I probably won't film a lot of this because that is going to require all of my energy and holding on to that fence to get up the damn thing but we're committed now that's where we came up for all that bog it wasn't too bad with the ground being frozen so we're going up there now I'll speak to you when I get to the top whoa I was racing me there good thing is looks like I've planted a lot of trees hopefully uh, native ones so keep on going on <sighs> halfway up this fucking well three quarters Jesus fucking Christ mate <sighs> that's straight up <sighs> bit of a breather and then just this last bit to go you watch, the bit of a hill over the side. But looking at the contour lines, it's not as steep as this fucking thing. Whew. This must be a good I'll have a look, I'll put it on the I'll put it on the video how I'm just send that is in one go. Because it started off where them white houses are there and come all the way up here to the top of this mast. That's pretty much going to have to be you know, a good thousand foot or something, but I'll check it. Still some good scenery, it's a bit hazy. I'm not sure the sun will start to go down in the next hour or so. But we should be happy. We're on our way back to the car then. And uh, might even nip in the pub for a hot chocolate. I'll see you probably on the way to the top, if not at the top. Whew! At the top of that now, that's one steep hill. I want to see if I've done for a while. Huh? Now, just heading over there, follow the track up to the top, then it's flat downhill from there. Thank God. Still, stunning views there. Lady Bower Dam. I might go around there next week or two because. Uh, the plug holes are going over and the one on the next one up begins with a H I can't remember his name now not Hebden anyway the next one up the wall's coming over where did the dam busters raid so I'll, uh, I'll probably do a walk around there a bit flatter probably a bit longer but it'll still be good anyway I'll probably speak to you now when I get to the mast okay see you for, see you for now Knob. Just came over that hill there. To up this. But then um, we're at the mast. And from then on, it's downhill. Which well, could be a bit fun, could be a bit slippy. But let's see. Hoping we should get some good views from the mast over the Hope Valley, etc. etc. And next time I'll just walk along there, I think. Because <laughs> that was a long way to go just for that little ford but hey what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and all that anyway catch you soon so there see if you can see them here look potentially like rabbit tracks possibly hair I don't think they're big enough for hair definitely don't look like a dog's just by the shape and 
So the two of the bigger ones at the back and the smaller ones at the front. So heading up the top, same as me, probably a damn sight faster. So a really good shot here of the Oak Valley. Mam tour at one end, across the Great Ridge, up and loose hill there, up, over to Windhill, across the Lady Bower Dam, Bamford Edge, and in the background there, Stanage Edge and all the edges there, over to Haversidge. Not far off the entire valley, and that one shot there. We now headed around here, got about an hour left now. We're going to crack on because the sun's going to start going down, it's going to start getting a bit cooler, and then uh, I'll see you at any interesting viewpoints on the way over back. Okay, that's all for now. So, another shot here, seeing Mamtor, put a snow on the top, cement works, the whole Great Ridge, Blues Hill, Wynn Hill, around to Lady Bower, what a stunning viewpoint. I thought it was some good views from here when I've seen it driving past, and that's over Bradwell Moor where we went last week. We're going to continue heading down here. Just the same, same people again with that frigging dog off a lead, like trying to get for the fence at the sheep. Just Baker's belief, isn't it? Anyway, we'll crack on now. All the hills are out of the way, it's all downhill from here. So, uh, about an hour left, I think, hour and ten. So, I'm going to crack on now and uh, I'll speak to you probably when we start dropping down to Bradwell, I think, at Robin Hood's Cross. So, we've come off a path at Wolves Pit down there. We're going to go over that stile, heading off down towards Overdale. That goes on to the Bruff Road, which I believe is the old Roman road. So that'll be quite interesting. Then we catch up with the original path that we came up this morning first thing. I could have gone straight back the same way, but I thought this might be a more interesting route. I'll probably regret that. But anyway, varieties of spice of life and all that. So as we get into Overdale, probably might try and get some shots, although the light's getting a bit low now. Um, I'll catch up with you shortly. Always makes you wonder who built these walls. Uh, they've got all the stones. Just like they're in the middle of nowhere. It's some really bleak places, aren't they? Anyway, find this track. Leads us down Overdale onto the Bruff Road. So we'll just keep following this until we get there. I'll catch up with you a bit later on. So that's Overdale. And we're headed off. You can see Bruff Road there in the distance. And then I think we go with those two people, I'm not sure yet. But we'll crack on. Let's watch it here, because if you go down there, mate, you're not stopping. Catch you soon. There you can see where we've come from the mast, round there, and back along here. And then we're headed along here, onto the Roman road for all about 10 yards. Then I think we're cutting over there. Just in the distance there's a footpath there. Takes us down to Bradwell Edge and along to Robin Hood Stones and then back. Starting to drop a bit of light now but still got about an hour before sunset and I've got about half an hour, 25 minutes left. So should all be good. It's like a well-worn path this. But, uh, Maybe it was used a long time ago. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when we get to Brad's Well Edge because we'll probably get some nice views there, hopefully. And uh, see how we go. That's interesting. This isn't on the map, but it's a shortcut on my map. It's showing you go about another 0.8 of a mile down there and come loop back on yourself. But this must be a. Uh, looking at the sign, it doesn't look very new. But anyway. That's the broader way. We're going to take a, a shortcut down here. I'm all for shortcuts. See you soon. It's a nice view of Bradwell. And it's a bit of a sunset in the distance. Not a very good one. But there's Bradwell. Great Ridge. Uh, and the cement works. And we're heading off down here. It's a bit of a shortcut. Then we're going to head down. 
back into uh, back into Bradwell, I think on Park, sort of in the middle where that just beyond the church there. So not far to go now. And there we go. Sun sitting over there in the distance. Not far now. Just back down the road into Bradwell. Now I'll do a little bit of a piece in the cards to summarise the walk today. And then that should all be good. Pretty impressed with the GoPro. Looking like we've got about I'll check when I get back, but uh, certainly quite a bit of battery left. 30-40%. Uh, plenty on the SD card. I put a 128 gig card in, uh, which is more than enough what I need really. So I'll um, catch up with you when I get back to the car. You can hear the chimes from the church bell there. But I can't quite catch them. So, I don't know if you can see me there. Back in the old rangey. Gonna head back, just a quick summary of where we where we went. Um, just go back to it. So just over eight miles. So I did do a bit of a shortcut at the end there. 8.3 miles, 1600 foot of ascent. So that's quite a bit of a, a bit of a climb. If you look here, you can see potentially the profile, which is uh yeah interesting to say the least. Um but yeah, so uh 8.3 miles uphill was just under three miles, downhill three and a half, flat about two miles. I did that in three and a half hours. So um, not a bad, not a bad, the bad speed average, 2.4 mile an hour through that, which is about my average, even with some good hills in there. Um, I can average about two and a half miles, which is quite good. Um, in terms of doing your calculations, based on the amount of ascent you're going to do, there's a formula I'll see if I can find that, stick it on the, the route at the end. So yeah, nice route. Bradwell's a nice little place. A bit of a shame that the parking's not great, but uh, I managed to find somewhere just opposite the playground in the middle uh, and then went from there. But yeah, a good route up, nice climb at the start, some stunning views over the Hope Valley, etc. So yeah, highly recommended. Uh, reasonably walking apart from the first bit, which with the ice was a bit, uh, I imagine with mud it would be very slippy too, but yeah. Uh, overall a very good route so I uh, highly recommend this one uh, somewhere a bit different off a beaten track a little bit there weren't so many people out and about so uh, that always is always a bit better than the, the busy tourist routes anyway I'll see you next time <laughs>